don't know if you guys know this, but the month of July is National Picnic Month. And it might not look like today is a great day for a picnic. I don't know about your house, but it's pouring down rain at my house. Um, but July is the month we celebrate picnics. And picnics are a lot of fun. So I've got a story and activity to start out with um, for you today. The story is about a picnic, and then we'll do a fun little activity relating to that. So this story is actually based on one of the stories from our favorite television shows at our house, Daniel Tiger. Um, and this story is called Daniel's First Fireworks. This page right here. It was almost nighttime in the neighborhood of Make Believe, and Daniel and his family were having a picnic dinner in the backyard so they could see the fireworks. Daniel had never seen fireworks before. Daniel brought a picnic basket over to the blanket and sat down next to Mom. What's in the picnic basket? asked Mom Tiger. Picnic stuff, said Daniel, like plates, cups, napkins, food, and Tiggy. Daniel pulled Tiggy out of the picnic basket and hugged him close. Tiggy wants to see fireworks too. Well, it's not quite time for dinner or fireworks, said Mom. Why don't you and Margaret go play? Okay, said Daniel. Come on, Margaret. You can see there's Daniel and Margaret and his mom and his dad are ready for a fun picnic. Come back here, Daniel called out as giggling Margaret toddled around the backyard. Daniel and Margaret were having so much fun, they didn't even notice that it was getting dark until suddenly they saw something new floating around them. Look, Margaret, fireflies, Daniel exclaimed pointing to the little flickering lights. Let's say hi. But Margaret didn't want to say hi to the fireflies. Margaret didn't know what they were. Margaret, come back, said Daniel as Margaret toddled to mom. The fireflies are nice. They won't hurt you. Daniel followed Margaret back to the picnic bas basket. Why doesn't Margaret like fireflies, he asked mom. Well, Margaret has never seen a firefly before. To her, they're new, and new things can be scary sometimes. Can I help her, asked Daniel. Yes, I think you can, said mom. When something is new, holding a hand can help you. When something is new, holding a hand can help you said Daniel as he took Margaret's hand. Come on, Margaret, I'll hold your hand and we can look at fireflies together. Daniel and Margaret held hands and walked back to the fireflies. Look at how the fireflies light up, said Daniel. It's like they're twinkling and saying hi. Margaret looked at Daniel and she looked at the fireflies. Hi, hi, she giggled. Margaret isn't scared anymore, said Daniel happily. Watching the fireflies gave Daniel an idea. Daniel imagined that he was a firefly, dancing with his firefly friends. Daniel, Margaret called mom, come over to the picnic blanket for dinner. Daniel helped take Margaret to the blanket where dad was serving sandwiches, carrots, and grapes. Mmm, picnic food is tiger-tastic, said Daniel. It does taste better outside, doesn't it, said dad. I agree. Suddenly, Daniel heard a loud noise. Boom, boom, boom. What is that noise, asked Daniel. He was scared. Those are fireworks, said Dad. See, up in the sky? Look how pretty they are, said Mom. They're kind of like fireflies, but they're really loud, said Daniel nervously. Fireworks are loud, said Dad but that's just the noise they make. All of a sudden, Daniel felt a small hand holding his. It was Margaret. Fireworks are new for you and Margaret. Maybe you can help each other, said mom. When something is new, holding a hand can help you, Daniel said as he squeezed Margaret's hand. 
Come on, my fuzzy guy, said Dad. Hold my hand, too, and let's go get a better look at the fireworks. Okay, said Daniel, but I want to keep holding Margaret's hand, too. Boom! 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 The fireworks were very loud, but Daniel squeezed Margaret's hand, and Margaret squeezed Daniel's hand right back. Daniel, Margaret, Mom, and Dad watched as the fireworks lit up the sky with sparkly, bright colors, and Daniel and Margaret liked them. Sometimes new things can be scary, but remember, when something is new, holding a hand can help you. And as Daniel says, bugga mugga. So I love that story for a few reasons, because I think um, that it's so true. Sometimes new, we see our new things or new things happen to us, and they can be scary. Um, but holding hands with someone that we love and trust can help us. Um, so that's one reason I love that story. Also, I love fireflies. I don't know if y'all have been able to get out and um, catch any fireflies yet this summer, but they're out there. I have seen them. Um, and like I said, I love picnics and this is National Picnic Month. And I don't know if you noticed, but of course I closed the book now. One of the things that Margaret has on her plate at her family picnic is some bananas. Do you like bananas? We like bananas at our house. And that brings me to our first activity today. So this is our banana split activity. Now, um, for this activity, you need three things. Number one, you need a banana. Number two, you need an adult to help you because the third item that you need is a sewing needle like this. So you definitely want to have an adult friend to help you. Um, but this is a little magic trick you can share with another person in your house, whether that's another parent or a brother or sister. So perhaps this week when it's not raining, you can invite the rest of your family to a picnic and you can tell your family beforehand, I'm going to bring a sliced banana. And then you'll go out to your picnic and you'll say, is everyone ready for some sliced banana? And you just hold up your banana. And they might say, well, that's nice. You brought a banana, but there is no way that this is a sliced banana because it's still in its peel. Hopefully this works. All you have to do is open up your banana and it is magically already sliced. Ta-da! Now, you're thinking, Laura, how did you do that? This is another trick I learned from Sherry Lewis. So, here's where your adult and your other banana and your needle come in handy. So, you take your needle and while the banana is still in its skin, you press that needle in with the help of an adult and you just move back and forth. And magically, inside the skin of the banana, it will be sliced before you even unpeel it. So I'm just going to do a few slices to make sure we have time for everything, and I'm really getting in there. Now, one great thing about bananas is they have a wonderful self-healing quality. Okay, so after you do the prep work with your parent or another adult, then you just kind of smooth it over, for lack of a better term. And you open the banana and you just give it, oh, this is a very ripe banana, so, or it's not a very ripe banana. And then you have your sliced banana that you can bring to your picnic for National Picnic Month. And I don't know if you know this, but it's also National Ice Cream Month. I believe that Sunday was National Ice Cream Day. So you can use your pre-sliced banana to make a nice banana split. Okay, so want to do one more little um, challenge or trick for you today before we go into our next story because our next story is a little act an active story. Um, and I want you to um, participate with me as I read. But first... I am going to teach you how to stick your tongue out and touch your ear. So what you will say to your friends is, I betcha I can stick my tongue out and touch my ear. Can you? And 
You'll see them try all sorts of ways and stick their tongue out and look silly. And then when it's your turn, you just say, are you ready? Here we go. And that, friends, is how you stick your tongue out and touch your ear. All right. So for our last story today, get up and get ready to move. Um, I love this story. Um, I read it a lot with my little boy these days because it is a fun way for us to be up and active together. And it also has a lot of really fun illustrations. So this story is called Clap Your Hands. I love being with you. I wish I could see and hear you. I can't, but I'm just going to trust that you are following along and enjoying the activity with me. So here we go. Clap your hands. Clap your hands. Stomp your feet. Shake your arms, then take a seat. Rub your tummy, pat your head, find something yellow. I'll find something yellow. I found a yellow banana peel. And find something red. I'm looking at Mickey Mouse across the room. Do you see something red in your house? Call it out, even though I can't hear you. Reach for the sky. Wiggle your toes. Stick your tongue out. And touch your nose. Some people can stick their tongue out and touch their nose with their tongue. I am not one of those people. Roar like a lion. Growl like a bear. Blow me a kiss. Do you dare? Wiggle your fingers, slap your knee, I'll tickle you if you tickle me. Find something big. Oh, there's my refrigerator over there. Now find something small. Oh, I see something small. Do you guys see my little dog nugget in the back? She's very small. Spin in a circle. But try not to fall. Close your eyes and count to four. Now do a somersault across the floor. Spread your feet, look upside down, make a silly face, and act like a clown. All those silly faces. Hop like a bunny, flap like a bird, quiet as a mouse now. Don't say a word. Tell me your name. How old are you? Tell me a secret and I'll tell you one too. Purr like a kitten. Meow, meow, meow. Bark like a dog. Crawl like a baby. Jump like a frog. Count your fingers. I'll give you some time. Count your toes. Wiggle your eyebrows. Now wiggle your nose. That one's a little bit harder. Show me a smile. <laughs> Show me a frown. Stand on one foot and jump up and down. Well. Fly like an airplane high in the sky. It's time to go now. So wave bye-bye. Bye-bye. So have a great week, you guys. I can't wait to see you next week. Ooh, there's some thunder and lightning that my doggies heard. Um, and try and find time in a day with your family to maybe celebrate National Picnic Month and go outside and have a picnic. 
not when it's raining, of course, but hopefully some sun will be coming your way soon. So remember, um, before you go to bed tonight, ask your mom or dad if there's one thing you can do to help them, and um, then I hope you have sweet dreams and a bright tomorrow. Bye, friends.